So we have this couch that we bought from uh, RV Rec Pro, and we, uh, when we bought the couch, um, Carol and I really loved it initially. The only problem with it was, is we talked to Rec Pro about should we go with the vinyl uh, fabric or the cloth fabric because we have dogs. And they said, well, you should go with the cloth fabric. Well, the one problem that the cloth fabric has is that down on the seat cushion, you can see that the hem has broken and now we've got, got this going on. And this is, this is almost either a design or manufacturing defect because we've had to have two pieces of this replaced once before and I just didn't have the heart to call them again and say, hey, we still got a problem. So we've just kind of put up with it. But what I did was I went to our local uh, Joann's fabric store and I looked to see if I could find a fabric that was somewhat similar. Now, the the image um, that you see on the camera is is fairly accurate. It's not a perfect fit by any stretch of the imagination, but it's at least close. So what I'm doing is I'm going to build a couple of seat cushions or seat covers, one for this section of the couch and then another one for this section of the couch. And I guesstimated that I need about two yards of fabric. And really my intention is to cover from the seat back up to this part. Um, and the reason I'm doing that, we generally have this blue uh, couch cover over the entire couch so that the dog's toenails don't uh, aggravate the fabric. And then the second thing is, is that one of our dogs, he likes to uh, nest and get underneath that blue fabric. And so when he does that, he then starts working on that seam unintentionally, but nonetheless breaking it down. So at any rate, we're going to uh, see what's involved in um, making a seat cover for it. So the sewing machine that I bought was through Amazon and it was uh, just a uh, sewing machine by KPCS and it's the model KPSM 1501. And the sewing machine looks like this unit here. And it's a portable little guy. He's, he isn't very big. Um, but he seems to get the job done and so far I've been really happy with it. Now, originally I bought the sewing machine, not because I wanted to do the seat cover, but because I wanted to do curtains for the front of the motor home. And though I haven't gotten to that project yet, um, the, you can see the curtains there. And the thing that you can't see is that there's been a lot of wear and tear on the curtains from the dogs over the years. Um, not going to not have dogs, going to always have dogs. So just got to deal with some of these periodic uh, repair issues. Um, so next we'll, uh, we'll take a look at the sewing machine. Now, as with most things these days, the sewing machine is made in China. Uh, it's mostly a plastic shell on it with uh, um, various metallic pieces and parts on the inside. So, you know, it's, it, and, and it was less than a hundred bucks. So I'm not expecting a lot of service out of it, but um, I don't expect to do a lot of sewing. I'm going to do the curtains, I'm going to do the seat covers, and that's going to be about it. But I'm going to get as much mileage as I can out of it. So what I've done is, and my mom was a sewer back in the day. Um, she did a lot of sewing. She had uh, some, some back problems. Uh, she had scoliosis as a child. And so she had... Um, kind of a, a, a misshapen body that prevented her from being able to wear clothes off the rack. So she had to make a lot of her own clothes. So I kind of picked up some of the, some of the things that I watched her do. Um, my sister also, um, who's, who's a little older than I am. She's also a sewer, uh, picked that up from mom. 
So at any rate, just kind of went through, folded over the fabric, put needles in to um, uh, keep the fabric in place while we sew with it. And this unit is a, uh, it's powered off of 110. It's probably nine or 12 volts uh, after it's reduced, but it does have a, a foot pedal on it, which is good. And so uh, it's got a, an owner's manual that uh, is in English. Um, and actually, you know, I've seen a fair number of owner's manuals over the years. And uh, uh, for one that was transcribed from English, uh, this from Chinese to English, this one's actually pretty decent. Uh, it's worked out pretty well for me. So, you know, it, it the sewing machine works like any standard sewing machine, a singer or, or whatever. Um, you simply, you know, put the fabric in. Um, you make sure that the needle is, is all the way up. Um, and let's see. There we go. Make sure the needle's all the way up. Make sure that you got bobbin thread and needle thread. You uh, lift the foot presser and you get the fabric ready. Get your foot on the pedal and away we go. And there we go. It's all uh, sewn up. So I've got uh, a seat cover now sewn up for the left side, or the uh, the yeah the left side of the couch, and then uh, I'll do a seat cover for the uh, middle of the couch, and uh, then I'm also going to make some uh, straps to hold the seat cover into place. Um, sew some Velcro onto those straps and then we'll be good to go. So here's my seat covers that I've sewed up to uh, protect that fabric from any more separation. Not to say that uh, there won't be some additional separation on it, but at least I've done what I can to try and protect it. And, uh, you know, it's not not anywhere near a fabric match but it's you know in the same realm and besides the fact i usually put a uh, blue cover over the couch anyway to protect it from the doggy toenails because they like to nest so at any rate but i'm real happy with the way the uh, covers came out i've got velcro straps on them that uh, keep them in place so yeah real good real happy with it and real happy with the sewing machine and I will put a link to this sewing machine on the uh, um, blog entry or the vlog entry on YouTube. But I'm very happy with this. Um, I've done two seat covers. I've also done a fairly lengthy repair to the uh, curtains on the motorhome. So uh, all in all, I just could not be happier with uh, this little sewing machine that I spent 80 bucks on. Uh, on Amazon and uh, you know it's it's everything I could have hoped for I'm not gonna turn into a seamstress I'm not gonna be creating lots of uh, uh, outfits or anything like that I'm certainly not a uh, fashion designer so but but for doing what I wanted to do which was a few simple sewing projects this guy has been just perfect um, I also found out that it has a uh, capacity to hold double a batteries in it um, so you know it's it, it's perfect for the motorhome uh, especially if you don't have any uh, power now the double a's don't last very long I'll say that and so if you've got power you really should use it but uh, you know it's got as I mentioned earlier in the video it's got a lot of different stitches it can do zigzag straight buttonhole um, there is a buttonhole attachment and even the lid on this uh, opens up allows you to store things like uh, extra needle and and things like that in the uh, sewing machine itself so very happy with this little unit um, actually like I said for the money I paid for it I couldn't be happier so 
If you uh, think you might be in a situation where you need a sewing machine on occasion, uh, this is a perfect unit. I, if I thought that I had more significant projects I was going to work on, like I said, I'm not a seamstress. I'm more of a get greasy kind of guy, um, you know, doing chores around the house, building stuff with lumber and, and fabricating. But if I were going to be doing a lot of sewing or, or sewing on a more regular basis, I would probably step up in a machine because this is all plastic and it is uh, somewhat, uh, you know, limited in the durability department, I'm sure, although I haven't run into any problems with it. Uh, but, you know, I might go with a, a nicer unit. But for when you're dealing with limited space in an RV like all of us full timers are, this unit is just perfect. So. Uh, like I said, I'll put a link to this on the uh, uh, installment on the vlog. You can go down and check it out on Amazon. Uh, they also have very similar machines at Joanne Fabrics and I'm sure at a lot of other Sewing Notion stores. So at any rate, um, definitely handy to have on board. Uh, nothing really bad to say about it. And uh, that's about all I've got. So be sure to subscribe to my channel down below and come check it out. And for those of you that are living on the road like I am, have safe travels, and we'll see you at the next campsite. Take care. Bye-bye.